What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Dragon Quest 1. This is the Super Famicom version remake. Yeah. So I got to level 5. Uh, I said I was going to get to level 4 and then continue on in my last video, but I decided to go up one level further. Learned a uh, heal. Well, I learned that level 3, but in level 4 you get a yeah, fireball. And they, uh, because this game uses the uh, Dragon Quest 5 for the Super Famicom, uh, that, it uses uh, that engine. It has pretty much the same, like, organization when it comes to magic and stuff like that, so, yeah. Fireball in this game does 20, da uh, anywhere from, I think, 15 to 20 damage, or 10 to 20 damage on an enemy, so it's really useful. I bought a copper sword because I was able to, because the enemies give up more money, um, and, yeah, I didn't get any armor because my defense power in this game, for some reason, it's way better. And Vitality in this game uh, measures how much defense you have. That's your base defense, is your Vitality. So, I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah. So, wait, uh, yeah, it is like that. Okay, cool. Alright. So, we're good to go. Let's, let's get the hell on out of here and head to, head to Cole, just like it did in the NES version. Uh, just like the NES version, you would want to get to probably level 4 or 5 before uh, exploring the north part of uh, Alphacar because it's a useful thing. Yeah. It's it's very good to do that because you won't die so much. Yeah, yeah that guy just restored all my magic points. Uh, I didn't have any magic points to restore. I was already at full, but I figured I'd just shut that off. So. You do a lot more damage to enemies in this game, too. They have a lot less defense power. Fights go by faster. Everything just is faster in this game. Uh, certain items cost less money, but all the weapons cost the same, which, to be quite honest, is negligible, because look how much money we're getting from a ghost. You know what I mean? 4 XP and $8, that's, that's the same as a magician in the NES version, so... <laughs> yeah, so they really streamlined this game pretty well. <clears throat> pretty well. They, they pace it a lot better. So this is probably going to be a little bit shorter of a video than the NES version, but... I figure I put the post this one up just to show off the differences in this game and the and the NES version. But what I forgot to mention in the NES version, you cross this bridge and then you're gonna fight like skeletons, scorpions, that kind of stuff. So yeah. For example, because I didn't use any of my spells and stuff, I'll be able to go to the I'll be able to go to this shrine right away. Yeah. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Jesus, that did a ton of damage. Good God. And we're acting before our enemies. It's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Jackie's giving me... 3 XP and 6 dollars. Gold, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm just, I just call it all dollars in this game. In any JRPG. Yeah, different than the NES version, the shrines have shrine music. Really? Okay. Yeah, okay, well, I'm going anyways, buddy. I guess I have to talk to him again in order to accept the quest that he gives you. Cool. Awesome. Well, the plot's been established. Nice. So now we're, we gotta find the silver heart so we can give it to him so he can give us the staff of rain so we can continue on our quest. Very good. So we can beat the dragon lord. Here's a magic drag, magic dracky. But as you can see, they don't really do too much damage. A fireball does a lot more damage to you in this game, too. So you gotta be careful of that. There's yeah. a fireball spell from me. Look how much damage it did 18 damage. So, in this game, you can pretty much one-shot 
any entry level enemy with a uh, fireball. You, 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 it's really easy. And it's a, little, a lot more effective in this game too. In the other games, it's not as effective. You'll either you'll either produce really low damage, or you won't even land it. In this game, it pretty much lands guaranteed, and you get a decent amount of damage from it. So it's a good improvement, in my opinion. So there's coal, which they call Era or Myra or whatever. Whatever the hell they're trying to call it. Who's dreams? What? Well, you know what that means? Huh. That means she's gonna be on the prowl, people. What oh, legendary sword? They sell the same uh, they sell the same weapons in this game as they do in the uh NES version, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Awesome! Who's to say you're not young enough? No, I'm just messing with you. No. That's not... Not, not cool, man. So I think you can find the fairy food the same place here as... Yeah, so... Yay! Awesome! And in Zelda fashion, they show the item right above you. <laughs> I have not. Very good. Yeah. I like how they do that. It's funny. <laughs> Open air baths, I don't care. But I do care about these drawers. Yeah, you can look through drawers, just like in any other Dragon Quest game in this uh, remake here. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like it because you can get stat boosters. Yay! <laughs> Let's see, by Puff Puff you mean... I'm gonna let you all film the blank on that one, viewers. Just to test how dirty your minds are. I know what tell, I know what Puff Puff means. It's an erotic massage. But whatever. Okay, cool. And then we'll be able to beat the uh, final boss. Sounds legit, or seems legit, or whatever the meme is. And I completely left town accidentally, that was really bad. <laughs> I was gonna go to the item shop, see what items they have. So, see if they're the same thing here as they have in the any version. Yeah. Now to be quite honest, because Fireball does so much damage in this game, I could actually streamline even more and just make the game pace even quicker by going to the South Island to the South Islands now, but I wanna keep the same pace as the NES game just so I can like demonstrate the grinding differences and how much shorter it takes in this game versus the NES version, so well, that sucks. Probably Soft Princess of Tantagul, we have to save her from the creepy guy who thought that she was like falling in love with him or something. I don't know, I'm just talking out my ass at this point. So let's see. Eh, it's all the same stuff. As you can see, the wings have been cut from a. Uh, have been cut from 70 to 24 in the medical or medical herb, which used to be uh, 24, now it's 10, so that's pretty cool. See how much strength we get from the strength seed. Ooh, by three. That's pretty nice. And different than in Dragon Warrior 3, uh, any stat, ba any stat boosts you get from any stat boosting seeds, um, they'll, like, permanently stick with your player. Like, it, it doesn't, like, sacrifice your growth in your next level up like it did in Dragon Warrior 3. So yeah, whatever you get, you gain from a stat booster, you keep. Yeah. So what I'm probably gonna do in this game, I'm probably gonna get a little bit to a little bit higher level in this version than in the NES version because the place I'm gonna be going to ne in the next video, uh, it's a lot more complex in this version. And you kind of need to be a little bit more level up, so I'm probably gonna do that. 
Um, the NES version, I'm going to go for level 8. This version, I'm probably going to be level 9, going on to level 10. So, I'll see you there. Hope you all enjoyed this. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.